Now, over the past few years, there's been a big rise in the ownership of exotic cats, in particular Bengal cats. They look like leopards, they've got a wild streak, but they'll set you back around £20,000. In Britain, there are now more than a 1,000 owners, among them Rolf Harris and Misha Paris. To explain this new feline fad, we're joined now by Esmond Gay and Sarah Bignall, who are Bengal cat experts. Hello to both of you. Hi. Hello. Now, they look just like cats, but uh, they're a little bit bigger, I suppose. They're uh, quite a lot different. They're, they're, they're about the same size as normal cats. Um, the F2s, which this is one of them, will grow a lot bigger. Um, he'll go to about two stone. Um, but uh, they're, they've got a lot of different characteristics to, to normal pedigree cats. Um, they stalk rather than walk, they prowl, they hunt their toys, and yet they're as docile and friendly um, as, uh, as any other little cat would be. Um, this is a Generation 2 Bengal. Um, that means his grandfather was the actual wild leopard cat himself, and I don't know if you can hear him purring. He just won't stop as soon as you look at him. He looks very affectionate, but of course, as you say, they have got these wild street characteristics. What does that mean in terms of, of hunting? What about other cats in the garden? No, they're absolutely fine. The, the wild characteristics are only the lovely characteristics. They love water, just like the Asian leopard cat does. Um, as I said before, they'll stalk their toys, they'll prowl, they, they walk differently to other cats. So they wouldn't um, be they, a menace they, in the street? They wouldn't or? be a menace in the street. No, that's one thing that has that got to be made clear, that no Bengal has ever hurt anyone. They're the most friendly, the most docile, the most domesticated cats there are, but with that air of nature about them. But being so expensive, you don't allow them out at night. They're not. not they're not normally twenty thousand. That's what the. That's the rarest of the rare. Um, they can go. For, they. They go from about a thousand for a good quality one. Uh, sometimes for inferior quality, you can get them cheaper. House train them. Sorry. How do you house train them? Very easy. They're just like normal cats. They're just like normal cats, uh, uh, but with an air of nature about them. Now, just so people know, we haven't got a sound recording in the background of mewing. We have actually got some very small kittens yeah. um, making a noise. In fact, they're in a basket. In fact, we can bring them in so uh, we can just see them. They're yeah. absolutely yeah. tiny the... and just uh, looking through the, the cage of the basket. They there. just want to get out, out. They just want to get out and explore. They <laughs> want to see the cameras and see everything there. You've been breeding these at home? For three years now, yeah. And uh, this, is, uh, this is one of our little babies. He's going through the fuzzy coat, uh, the camouflage coat, as I explained earlier. But if I lift the, 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 the mark, if I lift the camouflage coat up, you can actually see the beautiful markings underneath. Um, and then the fuzzy coat will disappear. The wildcat fuzzy coat will disappear when they're about um, anywhere from six to eight months old. And what do you feed them on? Uh, normal cat food, uh, whiskers, kitten food, and uh, I am's. Sarah, what do you see the appeal of these cats? Um, well, it's the nearest thing you can you can get to own in a, own, own in a wild cat. It's, um, obviously, it's very very difficult to get to, to get licences and things like that. So the Bengal is the nearest thing you can you can have. And people really wouldn't have to worry that they might have a funny turn. Oh, not at all. No, no, they're 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 more they're like puppies. Um, they they absolutely adore adore human company, um, and they follow us all all around the house like little dogs, and they they just won't leave us alone. Um, they've got no nasty streaks in them. In Presumably, them whatsoever. because they're, they are expensive, even if they're not twenty thousand, they're a thousand. Say, you have to be pretty careful about looking after them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They we're must very be the subjects careful. Of on... Animal thieves. Yeah, they can be. We, we vet the homes very, very carefully, and obviously, we, we do warn people about the dangers um, of letting the cats out. Um, as and briefly, obviously you breed these inside and yeah. for life yeah. indoors. Yes. But surely the wild strip will eventually run out if you carry on doing uh, that. Do you have no, to reintroduce it? Every there day? are plans in the future. Um, we do have leopard cats and, and uh, in, in wildlife park, and there are plans in the future that will bring the wild bird back in and just reintroduce it, just to keep the wild nature, the wild air. Mm. Um, but they'll always be domestic cats. They'll all be loving. They'll, they'll always be loving. They'll never, ever hurt anyone. But the mewing still going on, the kittens, but these two have been very well behaved. Sarah yeah. and Esmond, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, let's um, catch up on the weather. It